Welcome to the Several Nines product video and today we will highlight the differences between the MongoDB replica set and the MongoDB sharded cluster in cluster control. The differences become very clear if you're going to deploy a new uh, replica set or a new sharded cluster. If you're going to deploy the replica set it's only a two-step deployment while for the MongoDB sharded cluster it's a four-step deployment. And the two additional steps are necessary to define the configuration servers, the Mongo routers and the shards themselves. And obviously if you're going to deploy a replica set it only includes one single step to define the host. If we're going to, into the overview of the MongoDB replica set you can also see that we only have one replica set defined here with all its hosts and its statistics and graphs. Well, if you go into the MongoDB sharded cluster, you would immediately see that we're displaying not only one replica set, but actually we're showing the replica set necessary for the configuration server, the one for the first shard, and for the second shard, and of course for the Mongo S routers that are necessary to route all the queries. And this means that you can uh, look at all the statistics for each and every one of them individually. If we go back to the overview and we would like to scale out our existing MongoDB replica set or sharded cluster, it also is very different. For the replica set we have the choice either to add a new node to this uh, replica set, that means read overloading, uh, and we can convert it into a sharded cluster. So that means that we have to define the configuration server and the routers to make it a sharded cluster. For the sharded cluster we have the ability to either add a node to an existing replica set or an existing shard or add Mongo routers or we can either add or remove a shard to this cluster and that also means that it's not only scaling out for reads but also for writes. And these are the main differences between the two in the cluster control interface. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this demonstration of the MongoDB shards and replica sets was clear. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them below or get in touch with us via the chat on severalnines.com.